Am I the asshole for having someone, so a person, I think it's defined in this, go get my sister-in-law after my husband and his family refused to bring her to the wedding, but that means her and her husband's wedding. So this okay. is before she's technically a sister-in-law. Yeah. Becoming sister-in-law. I got okay. you now. We're on the same page. Everyone's, yeah. everyone's there. Goofing, you good? Go- Goofing's good. Jordan's good. Okay. Female 26 is the, the writer. My wedding was last week. It was amazing, except for this issue that occurred that caused a fallout between me and my in-laws. My husband, male 26, has a younger sister, Cindy, female 19, who's disabled and has been in a wheelchair since she was seven. I noticed that my in-laws do not treat her as a priority and never take her out of the house to include her in any family event and instead have her stay at home. I felt bad for her since the day I met her. She's sweet, but looks broken and lonely. Mother-in-law started huffing because I tried to get Cindy to join us while eating dinner out or go to the beach. She, mother-in-law, flat out told me she doesn't like Cindy to be outside because she wants to protect her from getting insensitive comments from people, even relatives. But in her tone, I sensed that she was essentially trying to hide her. I talked to my husband and mother-in-law about wanting Cindy to be at the wedding. They declined, saying that she that she would take away the attention when it would be on us and said that they couldn't stand having guests asking questions or making comments about her. We had an argument over this and I insisted that she come and refuse to go and and refuse to let it go. My husband and mother-in-law finally agreed and said they'd bring her to the wedding at the wedding. I noticed that she wasn't there as I looked closely. My husband lied saying they brought her, but she had to be taken to the back to get her medicine. I waited and felt like he and his mom were lying and stalling. I went to ask others if they saw her and my husband and mother-in-law finally confessed to leaving her at home. I got mad at them and then immediately had someone go over to my mother-in-law's house to get Cindy. My husband and mother-in-law started arguing about what I did and said that I was acting recklessly and irrationally. I told them it wasn't okay that they excluded their own flesh and blood from the wedding and told them that hiding her and acting like she was something to be ashamed of was appalling. Cindy arrived with my husband, my husband's aunt, who was with her at the time, and I had had them sit nearby. I made sure that Cindy enjoyed her time despite feeling out of place a bit. My husband and mother-in-law were pissed at me, and mother-in-law said that what I did shows how I will be treating them for the years to come by overriding their wishes and disrespecting them. I told them Cindy's presence wasn't hurting anyone, but my husband said I ruined the wedding by making a scene and fussing over this. This set the tone for the rest of the week. He's still upset and with me and keeps having conversations with his mom about what happened and making me out to be the bad, disrespectful one in the situation. Am I the asshole? 